Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Baker and welcome to This Is What I'm Talking About. Today I'm talking about deep fried vegetables. Well, we'll get started here. This isn't anybody else's recipe, this is just one of my favorite all time foods to do. And I've actually never done it on a grill before. And my one concern is whether my oil is going to get hot enough. So we'll have to see what happens here. I like to use a tempura batter. Some people like uh, cornmeal, different things like that. I go for tempura. Now the box calls for water to mix this with. I'm going to use cream soda. I love cream soda. After Mountain Dew, it's my favorite, favorite soda. I don't know if you may have watched, you know, it's been several weeks ago now, I did a fish recipe for somebody. And I used Mountain Dew when I was mixing up the batter. And found out later that the person I did the recipe for can't stand Mountain Dew, so she didn't try the recipe. Too bad, because it was really a good fish recipe. But anyway, this time I'm going to use cream soda. See how, see how that does. We're going to stir this up really good. And then what I'm going to do is add just a little bit of spice to it and add a little bit of chili powder. This isn't going to be hot at all, it's just going to add a little spice to it. Today I'm going to be doing zucchinis, bell peppers, and green tomatoes, all out of my garden. One thing that Gopher didn't get to was my last zucchini plant. All of this zucchini is from one, one large zucchini. This dude was about a big. So, we are going to try, I don't know if that's going to get hot enough or not. I'm going to try a little strip of bell pepper here. I was actually going to do... Uh, I was actually going to do mushrooms, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do what I'm getting out of my garden. Oh yeah, that's going to work. Do a couple of zucchinis here. Actually, got this a little bit too thin. More thin than I wanted. was huge. I got two of them like that out of out of the garden. And I guess we're gonna get plenty hot, aren't we? I'm sure you can hear that bubbling by now. I actually could have used a little bit more batter and a little less the cream soda. I've always loved deep fried foods. I like I like everything. Deep fried vegetables, the deep fried Twinkies. I haven't tried making those, but I've actually had them. Yep, definitely could have made this thicker. So just as a as a thought, if you're after, if you're watching this video and you're actually going to make this, don't put quite so much liquid in there. It's still going to taste good anyway. Oh, let's go ahead and do one more of each. Again, it's as good as again. Temperatures that it did. It's really nice. About 80 degrees, steady breeze. Perfect day in Southern California. I'm going to save the green tomatoes until last, and I'll show you why I'm doing that.
Yep, you definitely want more batter on these. So we're just doing what we'll call a light coat. Just a little bit more, then a little bit farther down. And I think I've actually gotten rid of my gopher. Yay! Strange how it happened, too. I came out about a week and a half ago. I came out in the morning, and all the holes that Shawnee had dug up looking for the gopher were all damp, and I couldn't figure out why they were damp because I hadn't watered the lawn. I had to look over at my garden and remembered that I had put the soaker hose on the night before and left it on all night. And evidently that had trickled down into the tunnel system and got everything wet and evidently must have run the gopher off because it's been about a week and a half, haven't seen any more mounds and Shawnee hasn't dug any more holes. That's a good thing. Remember, we're calling these lightly coated. All right, for the green tomatoes, what I'm actually going to do is add some brown sugar to the batter. And why am I doing that, you ask? Well, green tomatoes are really acid. And brown sugar will help cut down on the acid. So you won't have that bitter bitter flavor. Actually, in this case, looks like it might even be thickening up the batter a little bit, which is a good thing. So all we're doing is adding brown sugar to the batter. And let's coat a couple little tomato slices here. It's actually another one of the things that works really good on a stove. As it turns out, it's actually working pretty good on, out here on the grill also. That was my bad for not having a batter thicker. I didn't have any more batter, so I couldn't add anything to it. Looks like I'll be making a trip to the store for some more tempura batter. You should get the idea of how it's made. You get the gist. I still need some recipe ideas, folks, so make some comments on this video. Let me know what you want to see. I can either work on the grill, I can work inside on the, on the stove, either way. Let me know what you want me to cook or if you want me to cook. Well, it's a gorgeous day out here in San Diego. Actually got some corn off of my stocks. I don't know if you can tell by that shot. Corn's looking good. I pulled some of it down already. In fact, you did let you see it. Okay, 
we're not talking anything huge here, but I mean, yeah, for my little five, five foot by 10 foot lot of land there, I think I'm doing all right. I think I've got another maybe four or five years left on there yet, so I can pull off. Got some tomatoes. I've got, in the next week, I'm going to have tons of tomatoes last year. The ones that are ripening right now are called Rutgers Heirloom. Never tried those before. In fact, I just had, just had one a little while ago. I sliced it up, put some salt on it, and ate it. It's really a sweet flavor and really, really good. So I probably have enough time right now to harvest that whole thing and start over and do another one this year. We can grow, we can grow a vegetable garden out here almost year round. Remember, you want more batter. Just say you want thicker batter, not more. Put these on the plate here. So you have lightly deep fried bell peppers, zucchini, and fried green tomatoes. Like I said, one of my favorite foods. See what you think. Alrighty, that's going to do it for this time. Now I can tell my friends and family, let's say les bon temps brûlé. Let the good times roll. So now I'm getting ready to eat my deep fried vegetables. And that's what I'm talking about.